Hey everybody, it's Taylor with Boys and Grove, and today we're gonna make a tabletop tic-tac-toe board with built-in storage. Let's get into it. Tabletop tic-tac-toe boards have become more and more popular, but I decided I wanted to take it a step further and create a box to hold all the tic-tac-toe pieces and maybe a few other things as well. I'm going fancy on this one. I'm gonna make everything except for the top and bottom panels out of Purple Heart. That's fancy, that's fancy. I started by resawing the boards down to half an inch thick. I mitered the ends, making sure to flip the board each time so I can keep a consistent grain pattern on all the sides of the box. I put a dado on the top and bottom of all the boards to hold the top and bottom panels, and then I added a third dado. I'll explain what that's for a little later. I cut a scrap piece of furniture grade pre-sanded plywood for the top and bottom panels. Before assembly, I sanded all the parts. I used some blue tape to keep all the corners tight and in place and tight bonds quick and thick for the glue up. I used a couple Powertech strap clamps to clamp it up. I love these clamps. They're great for assembling frames or boxes. While waiting for the box to dry, I started working on the O's. I used some more half inch purple heart and started with a one and three quarter inch hole saw bit on my drill press, only drilling about halfway down. Then I switched over to a half inch Forstner bit to enlarge the center of the O's. Going back to the one and three quarter inch hole saw bit, I flipped the board over and finished drilling out all the O's. To make the X's, I used more half inch purple heart that I cut down to half an inch square. I wanted to use halving joints for the X's, and because they would be so small, I decided the best way would be to cut all the dados first, and then cut the pieces to length.
lot of times when people build boxes after separating the lid from the bottom of the box they'll cut some small strips of wood and glue them on the inside of the bottom of the box to create a lip that the lid can lock onto. I decided I wanted to try a technique that I saw done by Steve Ramsey over at Woodworking for Mere Mortals. You remember that third dado that I cut before putting the box together? Well, the plan is I'm going to cut another dado on the outside. And if I line it up right with the inside dado, that it will unlock the lid from the bottom of the box. And then it will create a lip on both the top and bottom of the box that when they interlock, will lock that lid in place. That's the game plan anyway. Fingers crossed that I made my measurements right. After cutting the dado, I used a knife to separate the last little bit holding the two pieces together. Success! Oh yeah, baby! After a little sanding, I used a hand plane to put a chamfer on the opening of the box to add a little bit more dimension. The top of the box is inset a quarter inch, so I cut some strips of wood a quarter inch thick to make the tic-tac-toe pattern on the top of the box. I wanted the square areas to be two inch square, so I cut a scrap piece of wood to use as a spacer when I was gluing the pieces in. Amidst all the cutting and sanding, I made sure to save some of the purple heart sawdust so I could use it along with some super glue and activator to fill in all the little blemishes. <music> Lastly, I wanted to add some dowels to the corners, not only for strength, but to add a little contrast. After a final sanding, I added a self-adhesive piece of felt to the bottom of the box. Once everything was sanded smooth, it was finally time for some finish, and I went with none other than my new favorite, Odie's Oil. Alright, well that does it for our tabletop tic-tac-toe board. I'm really happy with the finish. The Odie's oil really makes this purple heart pop. And I'm glad I decided to go ahead with the dowels because it adds a nice contrast to this box so that it's just not one solid color. As you can probably tell, I had a little bit of trouble with the hand plane. I think the blade had a burr on it or something. It kept digging in when I was trying to put that chamfer here on the edge. So I ended up sanding it and making it a little bit bigger than I anticipated. But all in all, I'm really happy with this project. It's really cool. And there is plenty of space in here for not only the playing pieces, but maybe a couple decks of cards or some other small games that you could put in here. Or you could just make yours smaller so that it only fits the pieces. Let me know what you think of this project, or if you built one for yourself, let me know about it in the comments below. And we work on a new project every week, so make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can follow along with us. Thank you very much for watching, be safe, and have a great day.